Well, great morning, as you can see. I'm back to the sticks and bricks because I had to pick up their jackets. Look at their little jackets. They're actually a little big for them. So there's one and there's the other. They've got matching jackets. But they're big enough that they can have um, some sweaters and things on under them. So, yeah. They've got nice, nice jackets now that have the harness built in. So those are easy to put on, and uh, I'll be able to put them in some nice, um, some nice sweaters. So I want to get them some more sweaters because it does get cold. It was in the 20s today when I got up there at City of Rocks. And, uh, but that's, you know, the, I really like waking up and you see the sunrise coming up, you know, so that's why I wanted to share that video with you. And so I get up in the morning about six, six thirty, they're ready to go out. Um, <coughs> now that she's at the end of her heat cycle. I don't have to get up at 4 a.m. to take her out. She's able to wait until 6, 6.30. So um, I take them out uh, about 6, 6.30 in the evening, and then again at 6, 6.30 in the morning. And uh, they can wait the 12 hours. Uh, so that's the way that works now. Um, but uh, yeah, I get up and I walk them and then I, you know, throw away the night soil. And I really do like that toilet because everything is contained in this. You have these bags that are made for fourth toilets, okay? So you put the bag in and it's got um, these other things that are absorbent and stuff. So first thing in the morning, I get up and I change that. You know, you just um, you just wrap it up, tie it up real good, and, and throw it in the uh, trash and put out a brand new one, and you're ready to go again, okay? So that works well. Now, like I said, I do like waking up and seeing nature, I don't get to see anything like that in my house. Now, I love my house, but you look out this window and all you see is the neighbor's place. That's it. I don't have any windows that look out into nature here. So that's another reason I really like to be out and uh, traveling, etc. I like getting up in the morning and seeing the sunrise, seeing the sunset. Now, last night, I opened the um, overhead, okay, and was able to see the moon out there. Now, I don't leave it open because you lose the heat up through there, you know. <coughs> but it was nice. I opened it up last night. Um, unfortunately, there were too many clouds and things. I didn't get to see the stars. But one place I want to go to is where you really see the stars and be able to be in there at night, open that up and see all the stars. That's so wonderful to be able to see that. So, yeah, um, the Prius glamping is working well. I have enough room for sitting, my computer, um, when I leave the car running at night, I recharge my computer, recharge my phone. I unplug the um, I unplug the refrigerator at night because it stays cold all night, so I don't leave that running. But I do recharge my computer or recharge my phone. Okay. Um, so you know that's what works so well with it because. Now you lose a little bit of your gas mileage when you leave it running all night. But last night it was in the 20s out in the City of Rocks. 
and I had my temperature in there set to 74, 75, okay? So I stay nice and comfortable in there, and uh, you maybe use about half a gallon running it all night or a gallon, okay? Um, so that is so worth it. I'll pay, you know, whatever it is, three, four dollars for the night to run run and have that heat going all night. Uh, so that's uh, comfortable. Now last night, I, I was having a headache last night and uh, one of the muscles in my neck was just, you know, so I didn't sleep really well last night. Um, but I do usually sleep really, really well in there. And uh, you get used to, you know, you hear the sound of the car kicking on and kicking off, okay? The vibration of that. But uh, it becomes quite comforting after a while, actually. You feel that vibration and, uh, yeah. So for me, um, I'm really enjoying the Prius. Like I said, I can cook in there. I have the refrigerator. I have my way to cook. I can make my coffee. I can boil eggs. I can make soup. I can do, you know, and mainly being a carnivore, I have that one pan and that's all I need, okay? And the puppies are so good. Now, they'll lay on the bed all day. When I get ready to go to bed, Mickey knows the minute I get in there and start getting ready to climb into bed, he'll go down to the bottom of the bed, let me get situated, and then they come up and, and lay around me. So we've already got this, this uh, routine that works, okay? Um, the minute I get ready to go to bed, he can tell, and they move over, let me have my spot, get situated, and then they come and lay down next to me. <laughs> now the first few times out there, I had War of the Worlds with Mickey. He'd want to lay on my legs and everything, and it was just like, oh my God. But now he's, now he's learned the routine, and it works out quite well. They're really good puppies. <laughs> yeah. Now they're resting again. They're so cute. But they're really good. They travel well. You know, it, we just got in, got home, and the minute I started to go out there, they thought I was going to go. Man, they're running out there to get in the car again right away. They're ready to go. They're quite happy to, to be in there and live that lifestyle. Um, but I have to say, yesterday it was quite chilly out there. When that wind is blowing, I mean, it just goes right through you. Burr. <laughs> I like wind when it's warm, <laughs> when it's summer. <laughs> I don't like the wind so much when it's winter because I just really freeze then. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to more adventures. Now I have to kind of stick around here again until after the third. My Christmas present is coming about that time. <laughs> My daughter's a little late. <laughs> but she said she got me a Christmas present. And it should be arriving around her birthday, which is the 3rd of January. So I can't go too far. If we go somewhere, you know, within the next few days, uh, I have to be back here around the 3rd um, because my Christmas present will be showing up about then. And then after that, I can go for a while, but then I've got to be back the 30th because Miss Lily is scheduled to be spayed on the 30th of January, okay? And then after that, 
I think I've got a free schedule after the 30th of January. So um, <coughs> at that point, I'll be able to, to take off and really go somewhere uh, without having to worry about running back here for appointments. That's the only bad thing, you know, when you've got appointments and you've got other things, um, you can't really go too far and leave the area because you need to keep coming back this way again. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, I am looking forward to being able to go, but uh, at the moment I'm kind of relegated to hanging around this area until the rest of the stuff gets done. Uh, burr. <laughs> you know, when I'm gone, I turn off the heater and everything, and so when I come back, it takes a while. I've got the, you know, I've got the fireplace going. I've got the heat going. I usually leave the back door open for the puppies to go in and out, but it's, uh, you know, it just gets too chilly. So I kind of have to close that right at the moment, but uh, they're laying here next to me on the couch anyway. Oh my goodness. So anyway, that's what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna look and see if there's something to read on while I'm sitting here for a few minutes. Um, I'm not sure if I'm taking off today or not. Um, if I do, I will probably just go to like uh, Elephant Butte or something like that. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I stick here for, for the next couple days or whether I take off. Um, but I really am looking forward to being able to, to be in there without having to run back here all the time. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose having to run back here, you know, and uh, hang out for a while. But we'll, we'll see. I'm looking forward to Prius glamping. Um, yeah, looking forward to my Prius glamping. Uh, that will be fun because, like I said, I'm old. I'm not dead. <laughs> so <laughs> go out and enjoy it while I can. Now, a lot of people are going to um, Quartzite. They go for the, what is it, rubber tramp, rubber tramp thing. But it's just, I don't like crowds and I've always thought about going there to check it out because they have all these things that they open up during this time the great big um, you know rock show and all of that which I would love to see but that being said I don't like crowds um, so every year I kind of think about going because I do like rock and mineral show. It, like you couldn't tell that. I've got uh, crystals, quartz crystals everywhere in the house here. <laughs> every room has got them in there. Um, so I do love looking at all the different rocks, minerals, and um, all of that. But... Like I said, I'm not a person that wants to be around crowds. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll go, you know, this year or not. So um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I did go out there the other day. I did stop when I was going up to Seattle. I did go out to Quartzsite and spent an afternoon out in the desert over there. You know, it was okay. And I had my windshield fixed out there. 
uh, which was a great thing. I'm glad I got that fixed. Um, but as far as going out there and living for months on a time at, with that community, mm, not so much my thing. Yeah, not, not so much my thing. So um, we'll, we'll see. But for today, for the moment, <laughs> we'll see how long I stay here. <laughs> um, but yeah, the puppies are sleeping. They're cute. Mr. Mickey's laying and then Miss Lily's laying right next to him with her little paw over him. They're so cute. <laughs> They love each other. So I'm, you know, very lucky. I've got two very loving puppies. They're just, you know, they're, they're just sweet. They're sweet. Yeah, they're very good. So I'm fortunate to have them. Um, and I've got the all my other puppies remains are over here Miss Roddy and Chico Suave and Raj Mr. Max Gypsy Moon and then there are other two little ones that just didn't survive a week. I had them less than a week because of one was born with uh, one was born with uh, uh, internal problems, and the other one I got and had it had um, oh what's the name of that? They don't survive it. <clears throat> yep. So I have lots of puppies waiting for me on the other side. <laughs> I've got a whole cadre of puppies that I've had over the years. All of them sweet. All of them. I've never had. I've never had an aggressive uh, animal. They've always been so sweet. Yeah, but they're all on the other side, you know, playing across the Rainbow Bridge. So on that note, I'll leave that here. Um, but I just hope that everyone has a wonderful year this year, that you get a lot of spiritual growth, and, uh, you know, just be uh, aware of what's around you and try to remain as safe as is possible, you know. <laughs> so on that note, I'll leave that here, and I'll see you online. If there's something you want to see read on, please let me know. I do so appreciate that. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great New Year's.